Hi, let's look at today's problem, sequential digits. So, sequential digits, if and only if the number is, each digit is one more than the previous digit, okay. They've given us an example and return the sorted list of all integers in the range low comma high that have sequential digits. So, first of all, what is a sequential digit? Let's look at it. Sequential digit is after 1, you can only have a 2. After 2, you can only have a 3. So basically, it's just plus 1 at each step. Right? So 1, 2, 3 is sequential. 2, 3, 4 is sequential. 1, 3, 2. After 1, you can never have a 3. So it's not sequential. So now in the second example, from 1000 to 13000, what are the sequential digits? 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4, 3, 4, 5, 4, 5, 6, 7, 5, 6, 7, 8. All these are sequential, right? So if you notice one thing, once the first character is fixed, there is going to be a fixed pattern after the first character. After 1, you're always going to have 2 and then 3, right? So let my algorithm do this. Let me fix the first character and then keep adding digits onto it until it becomes bigger than higher the higher limit 300 so for example here i fix the first character as 1 then i add 2 now i check is 12 greater than 100 no so let me add one more character 3 is 1 2 3 greater than 100 yes great let me add 1 2 3 to the answer now let me add one more character which will be 4 is 1 2 3 4 greater than 100 yes but it is greater than 300 as well so you stop the recursion over here. You stop adding characters over here. Otherwise, I would keep adding characters over here, right? But I stop at this point. So, okay, great. What does that tell me? If I'm using this method, I can fix my first character and generate all the strings after it up to the limit, up to the high point, right? The high limit that they give us. Okay, that's a good idea. Now let's try that in code. So first of all, digit by digit. So what I did was um, I chose one by one from one up to nine and I called my go function on it. Okay. Now, this part over here sort, this is where my uh, program is taking a little O of n log n. Ideally, we would have 9 digits. So 9 into n, which would be the length of the low string. But if the length of the low string is 1 and length of the high string is 4, then I need all the strings 1, 2, 3, 4, as well as 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. So this would become all the length of strings, right? If we are thinking in that way, forget that complexity for now to avoid that there is something we can do, but I will be just seeing this most simple way of doing it. Now we have our go function. What does go do? Remember when I was making the combo one, two, three, what was I checking? First of all, when I reached one, two, three, four, I have to not continue. I don't want to waste my energy. So if the number is greater than high, okay, which is greater than 300 in the first example, then just break out, get out. Else the number is greater than or equal to low. That means the number is inside the range. 1, 2, 3 was greater than or equal to 100. At the same time, it was not greater than 300, right? So 1, 2, 3 was in the range. So add him to the result. That's the logic. Add him to the result. Now, now what do I do? Correct. I increase the number of digits in my number. So if I have one, two, if I had one, two, three, four, five, I want to increase. So I want to make, I want to add a new digit over here, right? A new digit over here that would be six. Only six is possible here. How did I find the six? Take the last digit, okay, that is five, add one to it. So five plus one is six. And now, Place this 6 as the leftmost digit of the number. 
so if you have a number let's say you have a number which is 1 12 now I want to change the digit over here I want to add a digit over here that is 3 what do I do simple what I need to do to add a digit over here is first of all I need to move these two digits to the left so first I'll do 12 into 10 then I'll get 120 now I simply add the last digit 2 plus 1 over here correct so I add 3 over here and I'll get 1 2 3 so our program will go like this first thing we'll do will be we'll get the last digit get the last digit is how simply remainder with 10 okay simple remainder with 10 for 1 2 remainder with 10 will be 2 so last digit is 2 now I just continue my program on the previous answer into 10 so it will become 120 plus 2 plus 3 which is 3 which will give me 1 2 3 right but notice the special case when I have let's say 19 what happens when I increase this digit correct I cannot increase 9 there's no digit after 9 there's no possible digit after 9 right so I cannot increase 9 so what I do is if the number is less than 9 then only I continue with the program now some of you all might uh, want a more optimal solution but this solution is getting 100% this is getting like the main or uh, fastest in the lead code judge but maybe because there are only a few test cases also because the length of these strings is fixed right the fact is that at most how many possible strings are there in total how many strings are possible 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so we could make this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 string right and just keep a sliding window of all the allowed lengths so suppose low was 100 high was 1000 so high was 3000 so now my allowed length is 3 and 4 so pick the numbers length of 3 1 2 3 2 3 4 3 4 5 these will all be part of our answer right so basically the entire solution set exists where uh, the length of the number cannot be more than 9 right it's never possible and if we are given 9 for example our result will only contain 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 correct if we are given 0 to 0 to 1 million or something huge range all the numbers possible will be all these numbers in pairs of 1 okay which would be 9 numbers then in pairs of 2 okay which would again not 4 which would be 8 numbers then in pairs of 3 and so on that's why the sorting overhead is not that high but again if you are just talking in theoretical terms there is a bet there are better solutions and some are mathematical for example they exploit the fact that after 1 2 3 if I want to increase to the next number I simply need to just add 1 1 1 so for the next 3 digit number that's possible I get 2 3 4 another method would be fix the number of digits you need okay so I will go from the low digits to the high digits and inside that you pick the digit 1 and you generate all the strings 1 2 3 of that length 2 3 4 so like first for loop for all these uh, length of the answer when the length is 3 when the length is 4 second for loop for all the starting points of the answer right 1 2 3 2 3 4 and the third for loop will just generate the string 1 2 3 so third for loop will have 9 iterations so that would be not too expensive let me quickly show you what I'm talking of what I'm saying is count the number of digits in low and in high so let me open this here count the number of digits in low and high and generate why is this not sorted if you notice our string will be sorted by the lexicographical order right one character at a time so we'll have one then one two three then one two three four but instead we don't want that that's the issue so let's see we'll have a digits function that will count the number of digits low and high 
from low digits to high digits, right? Forget the string method. That's really not the optimal method. Okay. So from low digits to high digits, I will try to generate all the numbers. Okay. Containing I digits. All the numbers containing I digits. How do I do that? Simply, now we have over here the next for loop, which would be the starting digit. So in start from 1, start less than equal to 9, start plus plus. Now we've fixed the starting digit. Generate the next next digits. So for int j equals to so from here we have one digit we want i digits just do j plus plus and generate the next digits start int num equals to start correct just the first digit now first digit plus second digit num equals to num star 10 plus the final digit of num which would be num percent 10 plus 1 also note at any time this might overflow so if num percent 10 less than 9 so let's just break if it's equal to 9 and there you go that would generate the number after this number is generated after this number is generated if num greater than high again break if num greater than equal to low, so great, he's inside the range, just add him to the result. At the end, return the result. I hope this makes a little sense. If not, don't worry. There's a very small uh, difference in the optimal uh, optimality of it. One second. Low digits, high digits. Count the digits. Start from 1 to 9. The number is just the starting digit. Then you add the next few digits to it. If it's greater than high, it's too big. If it's greater than low, it's fine. Add it to the answer. Yeah, I think it was just that equal to sign. Correct? So this is another way to solve it. And this would have a much better complexity. Okay, wrong answer here. It's not in sorted order. So anyways, there was some mistake I made because uh, I considered to that break, the break command, that was a mistake. It's not such a big difference, but I'm just doing this for the optimal uh, time complexity, right? Break command is not supposed to be here. Like if you are breaking here, then you're going here and you're returning the smaller number into the result, which is not needed. You have already generated the smaller number. So if you have uh, broken here, then you want to do this. If you're breaking from here, let us set a flag, okay? So bool broke equals to false. If if you broke out of the loop, right, then you don't want to consider this. So again, just break out of this loop as well. I think uh, continue outer is in Java, right? Not here. Any if this doesn't get accepted, yeah, it got accepted. I was going to say I'll pause the video and I'll record it again. So that's it. This is the way that easy way to think of it recursively. This is the way to do the same thing, but generate it in sorted order. Because let me show you why we did that second solution. Why did I do it? If you notice the output first solution has, okay, it's getting the correct answer 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But it's doing a depth first search, not a breadth first search. You get it? After 1, 2, 3, it's adding the 4 instead of checking 2, 3, 4. It should check all the strings of the same length first. So instead I made it a breadth first search by checking all the strings of the particular length first and then going ahead generating that string and inserting it into the answer. 
the both both of them have a similar time but yeah that's it the time complexity thanks for watching bye